Hello, hello, my name is Stephanie. Welcome to my channel. I'm gonna be talking about a super fun project with no sewing. We're gonna make this cute cape with fringe and no sewing. Mm. So welcome to my channel, I'm Stephanie and this is my sewing room. I do a Friday video every Friday just talking about sewing and life. So if you wanna come back and visit, that would be great. And I also have a glammed up trailer if you wanna take a look at some of my playlists. But today I'm talking about this super cute, super fun, super comfy um, little cape that's made out of fleece. So. I kind of got this idea from a ready to wear cape that I had a long time ago and it was, I just remember looking at it and thinking, well, this is nothing more than a rectangle of fabric and it's true. So that's all you really need is a rectangle of fabric, cut it, you're ready to go. But I'm just gonna show you how I did it myself. So this is my finished product. I purchased this fleece at Joann's and I knew how much to, purchase based on my measurements. And I wanna tell you a little bit about that. But other sources could be blankets, thrift store blankets, blankets you don't use anymore. I mean, anything soft and cozy fleecy would be wonderful. So if you've got something maybe to practice on, that would be one way to go. Uh, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna get your measurements. And I'm gonna show you me measuring it, but I did a horrible job of filming. So I'm just gonna tell you that you wanna measure how long you want it and how long you want it on your arms. I just used a tape measure to measure how long I wanted it. And I just basically held it like this. And I kinda looked at where my wrist was and where my wrist was, and that's how I got this measurement. Now, when I wanted to measure how long I wanted it, uh, I threw it over my back and I had it go all the way down to where I wanted it and how I wanted it in the front. And this was too short. I needed it a little longer than this. So what I did is I just pinned two of these together and I got my measurement. And you know, I am not an accurate, precise person, but that's why this is so easy. So I kind of just thought, uh, got a couple of quick numbers. I ended up with 55, and 70. So it's a little longer in the back and a little shorter in the front. I'm going to show you why in just a minute. So that's how you measure. So how long it is and how wide it is is how you choose your fabric when you're shopping. So you kind of look at how wide is the fabric in the store. This was 60 wide and my length was 70 so it needed to go this way and my and my arms would go this way on my piece of fabric. So I bought 70 inches of fabric. Actually, I bought more than that because I always like to have a little at wiggle room. So measure yourself before you go shopping and you'll know that you need at least whatever the two measurements are, your, your width and your height. Supplies you're gonna need. You're going to need the fabric based on your measurements and you're going to need some scissors or a rotary cutter or both and a tape measure. I needed two. And you might need some chalk if you're gonna do the fringe, you might need some chalk for, for marking, but I'm gonna show you how I did mine super easy, super easy. On my fringe, I did mine four inches uh, long and one inch wide. That was so easy. This piece of paper, that's gonna be a representation of your fabric, okay? So this length right here is your length that you measured with your tape measure over your shoulder. This length right here, this is your arms right here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold it long ways, okay? So now we have it long ways. This is how I'm gonna wear it over my shoulder. And this is my arms. And then you're gonna fold it again like this, okay? So now our length over our shoulder is right there and our width is our arms right here. You're just gonna cut this piece right here. And when you do, it's gonna be right in the middle. There's your cut, and that's what I'm wearing. How easy is that? That's what I would show you. So let me just show you me wearing it. Gosh, it's so cute, isn't it? It's just like wearing a blanket. And I think it's stylish. I think you could style it different ways. I think it would be really cute with a big wide belt only on the front and not the back or the whole thing. Uh, there's just so many things you could do. You could put a big pocket on the front, two sides. I think I would like pockets on it. I think it would be cute to have two big pockets right there. 
but that would involve some sewing. <laughs> so I didn't want you to have to sew to have this. It's just cutting some fabric and you're ready to go. I'd like to just take you through me making one and let you see what it looked like for me to do this. Okay, you're gonna need two measurements for this um, cape. One is how long you want it, and the other is how long you want it on your arm. So let's do the how long you want it first. Now, it depends on how tall you are and how long you want it, but I wanted mine longer than my tape measure, so I actually just pinned two tape measures together so I could get a, a measure. So now here's what you wanna do. Take the tape measure and drape it. This one's a little curled. Let's uncurl it. Okay, take your tape measure and just drape it where you think you want it. I'm thinking I want it just above my knee, right about there. And then in the back, I'd like it a little longer. So I'm thinking right about there. So that's gonna be my measurement. And now let's do how long you want your drape to be across the shoulders. So how do I do this with, <laughs> okay. Hold on. So I'm just gonna hold it. I want it at my wrist. We're gonna go all the way across. See that? So I'm gonna hold it and go all the way across. And now we're at 55. That's wrist to wrist. I'm ready to cut my length, which is 70. Now, it doesn't look like my fabric was cut exactly on a line. So I'm gonna use this line right here. So that's where I'm gonna start my measurement. I'm gonna start at one and I'm gonna go all the way to 70. Now my table cuts me off, so I'm gonna to have to move it down because uh, I wanna to get to 70. This is my tip, cut, tip, <laughs> pinned together tape measure. So I can get 60 plus 10 will equal 70. So I wanna to get to that mark right there. So I'm gonna to need to move it over just a little bit. I'm just gonna fold this a couple times and roll it. I'm gonna to have to use it my other hand for that. Folded it over a little so I could get this all the way down my table and I wanted to get to 10. So here I am at 10. And if I go one more inch, I'm on a nice line from this pattern of this check. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm cutting right here. Now this edge is not gonna be sewn. It's going to be a raw edge. So you wanna cut it without any jagged edges. You could use a rotary cutter for that or scissors, just your choice. Just make it nice and even with no jagged edges. My length is done. Now I'm going to do my across the arms, which for me is 55 is the biggest I wanted. I may trim it down from there. So 55, I'm gonna put that in half and I'm gonna find a spot over here and I'll show it to you. So, so 55 and a half is 27.50. So starting here at the center, I'm gonna go 27.50 is gonna bring me right here. And I see there's a line right here at 27. So let's turn it over and see what's at 27 on the other side. The other side, 27 is way up here, 27 and a half. So I have a choice. I can make it bigger and go to here, or I can make it smaller and go to here. I'm gonna make it bigger, I'm gonna trim it right here. And then on the other side, I'm gonna trim it right here. And we'll start from there. Is that where that was? Let's take a double check. I would rather make it too big than too little. Yeah. So we're gonna go right here on this side and right here on this side. So my fabric is cut. And again, it's 70 long, so this way is 70. That's the part that's gonna go over my shoulders and down the length of my body. And then a wide, it ended up being 56, because I was trying to cut on my plaid. If you don't have plaid, you'll cut exactly to the measurement you got from your arms. But I'm gonna go ahead and use that measurement. Now, what I'm gonna do is show you how to cut it to um, go around your neck. Okay, so here's what we have. It was folded in half long ways, so it's the long ways I just showed you. Now I took that and I folded it in half again. So now I have the long ways folded in half. So this is actually four layers. One, two, three, four. So this is 
the cape. So now I only want to cut open the front. So I'm going to take and cut from here to here. And this will have the back being slightly longer and the front being slightly shorter. If you want it to be even, then you'll find the exact spot to make it It'll probably be a little further. But I like my back a little longer, so I'm just gonna go with this exact half. So half the length, cut only one of these. Leave one not cut and cut one. So just cut it. Okay, so I've cut it. So here's what that looks like. Here is one layer, another layer, and then this is still folded. Interestingly enough, I, I wasn't going to try and match any of my plaid, but it came pretty close. So I might end up trimming off just that little bit right here on this particular piece. But for right now, it's time for a try on because this could be just it. Okay, we're done. So I did just trim a tiny bit off to make my pattern even, but I don't think that was necessary. And if you don't have a plaid, you won't worry about that at all. Okay, that's it. How cute is this? Oh my gosh, I love it. And it is so soft and comfy. It's like wearing a blanket, only it's not. You can make your arms shorter if you want, but I'm not going to because I want it to be nice and warm. So there it is. Um, it is a little shorter in the front. You can see that and a little tiny bit longer in the back, but it is so cute that way. I think it's cute that way. There's the, the possibilities are endless to play with this, but this is quick and simple and you could do this so easy. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to put a little fringe on mine. So I'm going to cut some little pieces. I'm just going to go up to this line right here. Let me just see what that measures out to be. So if you like the way this looks, I'll tell you that it's four inches. So I'm going to be doing four inches and I think I'm going to do mine um, about an inch wide. So I'm going to take some chalk and I'm going to mark every inch. And then I'm going to use my rotary color cutter and go all the way up to this line in my fabric. So if you didn't have this line in your fabric, you would make a line with your chalk. I might do that anyways, just so, just so I don't go over. But that's how I'm going to get my fringe. It's going to be so cute. Okay, so I'm basically just super lazy. And I know that this ruler from here to here is one inch. So I'm just going to lay my ruler and do my rotary cutter. And then I'm going to move my ruler and do my rotary cutter and move my ruler and do my rotary cutter. So you could do it however you like. That's how I'm going to do it. I love my fringe. Love it so much. And it was super easy to add. So how cute is that? Just love it. Super cozy. Super cute. Cozy and cute. So it was super easy. I know my, my camera was a little shaky when I was trying to show you me in the mirror, but it's like trying to do something and hold a camera, it doesn't work. And it's not, not some professional outfit here. It's just me and my camera. So that's how you do it. It's quick and easy and it takes no time whatsoever. I mean, this is such an easy project. So cozy and so easy to wear. You could just take it on and off super easy if you're in layers and you don't need a, something super heavy like a coat. I think that I said super way too many times in this video. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry about that. I just want to thank you so much for stopping by for this quick crafty project. No sew cape with fringe. There's a lot of different variations you could do on this. So play, have fun, enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Please hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye now.